Good evening, I'm Robert Cuccioli. Thank you. And I'm an actor. Um, ended off at one. The IRA, R, R, the IRA ramps up U.S. operations as early as 2014. The IRA's U.S. operations sought to influence public opinion through online media and forums. By the spring of 2014, the IRA began to consolidate U.S. operations within a single general department known internally as the, quote, translator department. Redaction. IRA subdivided the translator department into different responsibilities, ranging from operations on different social media platforms to analytics, to graphics and IT. Redacted page. Redaction. IRA employees also traveled to the United States on intelligent gathering missions. In June 2014, four IRA employees applied to the U.S. Department of State to enter the United States while lying about the purpose of their trip and claiming to be four friends who had met at a party, ultimately to IRA employees, Anna Bogacheva and Alexandra Krilova received visas and entered the United States on June 4th, 2014. Prior to traveling, Krilova and Bogacheva compiled itineraries and instructions for the trip. Redaction. Redaction. Two, U.S. operations through IRA controlled social media accounts. Dozens of IRA employees were responsible for operating accounts and personas on different U.S. social media platforms. The IRA referred to employees assigned to operate the social media accounts as, quote, specialists, unquote. Starting as early as 2014, the IRA's U.S. operations included social media specialists focusing on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. The IRA later added specialists who operated on Tumblr and Instagram accounts. Initially, the IRA created social media accounts that pretended to be the personal accounts of U.S. persons. By early 2015, the IRA began to create larger social media groups or public social media pages that claimed, falsely, to be affiliated with U.S. political and grassroots organizations. In certain cases, the IRA created accounts that mimicked real U.S. organizations. For example, one IRA-controlled Twitter account, at 10 underscore GOP, purported to be connected to the Tennessee Republican Party. More commonly, the IRA created accounts in the names of fictitious U.S. organizations and grassroots groups and use these accounts to pose as anti-immigration groups, Tea Party activists, Black Lives Matters protesters, and other U.S. social and political activists. The IRA closely monitored the activity of its social media accounts. Redaction. Redacted paragraph, another redacted paragraph. <clears throat> By February 2016, internal IRA documents referred to support for the Trump campaign and operation to candidate Clinton. For example, redaction, directions to IRA operators, redaction. Quote, main idea, use any opportunity to criticize Hillary Clinton and the rest except Sanders and Trump, we support them, end quote. Redaction. The focus on the U.S. presidential campaign continued throughout 2016 in redaction, 2016 internal redaction, 
reviewing the IRA-controlled Facebook group, quote, secured borders, end quote. The author criticized the, quote, lower number of posts dedicated to criticizing Hillary Clinton, end quote, and reminded the Facebook specialist, quote, it is imperative to intensify criticizing Hillary Clinton, end quote. IRA employees also acknowledged that their work focused on influencing the U.S. presidential election. Redaction. Redaction. Three, U.S. operations through Facebook. Many IRA operations used Facebook accounts created and operated by its specialists. Redaction. IRA Facebook groups, active during the 2016 campaign, covered a range of political issues and included purported conservative groups with names such as, quote, being patriotic, end quote, quote, stop all immigrants, end quote, quote, secured borders, end quote, and quote, Tea Party News, end quote. Purported black social justice groups, quote, Black Lives Matter, end quote. Quote, blacktivist, end quote. And quote, don't shoot us, end quote. LGBTQ groups, quote, LGBT United, end quote. And religious groups, quote, United Muslims of America, end quote. Throughout 2016, IRA accounts published an increasing number of materials supporting the Trump campaign and opposing the Clinton campaign. For example, on May 31st, 2016, the operational account, quote, Matt Skyber, end quote, began to privately message dozens of pro-Trump Facebook groups asking them to help plan a, pro, a quote, pro-Trump rally near Trump Tower, end quote. To reach larger U.S. audiences, the IRA purchased advertisements from Facebook that promoted the IRA groups on the news feeds of U.S. audience members. According to Facebook, the IRA purchased over 3,500 advertisements and the expenditures totaled approximately $100,000. During the U.S. presidential campaign, many IRA purchased advertisements explicitly supported or opposed a presidential candidate or promoted U.S. rallies organized by the IRA. As early as March 2016, the IRA purchased advertisements at overtly opposed, that overtly opposed the Clinton campaign. For example, on March 18th, 2016, the IRA purchased an advertisement depicting candidate Clinton and a caption that read in part, quote, if one day God lets this liar enter the White House as a president, that day would be a real national tragedy, end quote. Similarly, on April 6, 2016, the IRA purchased advertisements for its account, quote, Black Matters, end quote, calling for a, quote, flash mob, end quote, of U.S. persons to take, quote, take a photo with hashtag Hillary Clinton for prison 2016 or hashtag no Hillary 2016, end quote. IRA purchased advertisements featuring Clinton were, with very few exceptions, negative. IRA purchased advertisements referencing candidate Trump largely supported his campaign. The first known IRA advertisement explicitly endorsing the Trump campaign was purchased on April 19, 2016. The IRA bought an advertisement for its Instagram account, quote, Tea Party News, end quote, asking U.S. persons to help them, quote, make a patriotic team of young Trump supporters, end quote, by uploading photos with the hashtag, quote, hashtag kids for Trump. End quote. In subsequent months, the IRA purchased dozens of advertisements supporting the Trump campaign, predominantly through the Facebook groups, quote, being patriotic, end quote, quote, stop all invaders, end quote, and quote, secured borders, end quote. 
Collectively, the IRA's social media accounts reach tens of millions of U.S. persons. Individual IRA social media accounts attracted hundreds of thousands of followers. For example, at the time they were deactivated by Facebook in mid-2017, the IRA's, quote, United Muslims of America, end quote, Facebook group, had over 300,000 followers. And the, quote, don't shoot us, end quote, Facebook group, had over 250,000 followers. And the, quote, being patriotic, end quote, Facebook group, had over 200,000 followers. And the Secured Borders Facebook group had over 130,000 followers. According to Facebook, in total, the IRA-controlled accounts made over 80,000 posts before their deactivation in August 2017. And these posts reached at least 29 million U.S. persons and, quote, may have reached an estimated 126 million people. Thank you.